Hello there, welcome back. It is Saturday and it is five to four. And that just reminds me, I'm gonna turn the WhatsApp group off because these boys have been on top form today. Now, I had a comment on one of my last videos about what products I use to clean my car. I've been asked this quite a few times now, whether it's been mates, Instagram, and again, YouTube comments. So what I've done is I've got all my car cleaning essentials to my left. I'm going to talk through which products I use and which parts of the car I use them on and I just want to stress that I am not a detailer I am not endorsed by any of these companies I'm going to tell you um, there's a range from Auto Finesse, Meguiar's, Carbon Collective all sorts in there uh, and these are just products that I've picked up over the years I think that I find really really useful so I'm going to share it with you guys um, so basically I'm going to start off with what you use to wash it, different ways you can wash it, polish it, waxes, protectants, all that kind of stuff, and then interior stuff. And hopefully, this will stop people mithering me because when someone says to me, Tony, what products do you use to clean your car? I can just go, watch the video, mate, watch the video, and then I can start making some YouTube money. Jokes. Right, so without further ado, first off, I hope that's focusing because I can't see it. Snow foam. This one is by Lintec. If you don't know about snow foam, then you need to get to know because, let's face it, snow foam is probably the funniest bit about washing a car. Well, it's for me anyway. But yeah, Lintec, Satsuma snow foam, and that, I'll tell you how much it costs because it was right on there. So for five litres of it, it was £22.99. Bargain. Um, I'll probably go for one of them every month, but yeah, less of that. Uh, what else have we got? We've got Auto Finesse, Citrus Power. This stuff absolutely eats through flies, roll grime, bird shite, you name it. Uh, that stuff, I really, really do rate it. And it just makes life a lot easier. Spray car with that, spray it with snow foam, rinse it off with a jet wash. Job done. I'm just going to check this camera's recording. Yeah, we're recording. I just thought. If it wasn't recording, I'm just talking to myself for 20 minutes. I'd be a bit stupid because I have to do it all again. Right, what else have we got? What else have we got? Iron Out, Auto Finesse, great wheel cleaner, and you can also use it on the body of your car because brake dust, believe it or not, when you're driving around, gets everywhere. And also for the guys who have been restoring cars, sort of welding underneath and grinding, all that kind of stuff, this will remove metal particles from the surface of your paint without scratching it because basically you spray it on, leave it to dwell, it turns purple, and then you wash it off. So again, auto finesse, proper good stuff. There's loads of different iron outs out there. That auto smart do one, all that kind of stuff. Uh, Verso, all purpose cleaner. Again, pretty good on the wash stage if you've got particularly grubby wheel arches and all that kind of stuff. So not something I really use on my minis, mainly for sort of cars that get used more, um, as it's a more powerful, powerful cleaner. As the minis, it's just kind of like dust and flies and all that kind of stuff, what goes on in. This one is probably my favourite for when I actually wash my minis with water. For those of you that know, I don't like washing my minis with water because I like to try and keep as much water off them as possible. So when I do wash them with water, I use this stuff. This stuff is Aquacoat by Auto Finesse. So basically what you do after you wash your car, you spray this on and as you, as you spray, it, spray it on the car, it leaves um, a protective barrier behind and it is activated by water and the great thing about this what i like the most is say if you were to wax a car whatever when you're waxing it you don't get into all the cracks and all this kind of stuff whereas this stuff if you think of water's gonna go that stuff is gonna go with it and seal it so literally all like your seam strips even if you spray it over screws everything it leaves a protective um, hydrophobic rinse um, over the top so for me if you own a mini that is an absolute must I think that's like 10 quid if I can remember rightly don't quote me on it but I tend to get all my stuff off like Amazon and stuff like that or Halfords and um, I tend to like a trip to trip to Halfords right what else have we got what else have we got oh for the times that I don't wash my cars with water I use this Meguiar's waterless wash and wax this stuff is just absolutely sick when it comes to washing the minis this is kind of like my go-to a couple of microfiber towels a lot of people frown upon it because oh you need water to wash your cars this that and the other but if you use it right and use the right amount of towels and use the right amount of products you won't get swirl marks and trust me 
if this swirled the paint on minis, I wouldn't be using it. So it even says non scratch formula, safely washes and waxes three to four cars without water. I tend to get three minis out of it because I do tend to use a lot to keep to make the surface as lubricated as possible before you start wiping it with a with a cloth. And that is that for pretty much washing washing stuff. Uh, now we shall go on to polishes and waxes and all that kind of stuff. If you do, if you are getting bored with this video, I do apologise, but I just thought I might as well do the full thing and then people can watch it. I don't know where to start. Is that many? Uh, is that many bits in it? Right. Let's make it nice and easy. Metal polish um, because a lot of chrome on minis. This is great for bumpers, exhausts, or exhausts for the uh, boys down south. Yep, so I use that on bumpers, exhaust, and also if you've got an exhaust, or exhaust, I keep saying exhaust, that polishing ball, pull it on it, wrap up your exhaust pipe, the satisfaction of making an exhaust tip, mega shiny, it's just, I'm, yeah, I'm a little bit hangover, but never mind. Endurance tyre gel, Meguiar's, this is the best tyre shine on the market, again in my opinion, won't use anything else, this stuff, when you put it on, it lasts. You don't get all it. You don't sling all up the side of your car if you put too much on because you just put a little bit on a microfiber thing and then just spread it on and it's it's it's, it's proper sick, proper sick stuff. That <laughs> I've not actually used this yet, so I can't give you an honest honest review of it. Well, what what I tend to do is on Black Friday, um, I tend to go a little bit mad when all the car product companies have got offers on, like buy this and get that. So yeah, I go a little bit a little bit crazy. But that's Tough Coat by Auto Finesse. I'm guessing that's a little bit more durable than a wax, but again, I've not used it, so I can't really talk talk shy about it because I don't know what I'm talking about. Radiance Carnuba Cream. This is so easy to put on. It's like a wax, and you get up to three months of protection with it. And that's based on the car that's used every day. Whereas these, you can put a coat of that, and it'll last 12 months, maybe even longer, because like I said they're not exposed to the elements every day. That stuff's really easy to put on, and it cures and dries faster than a paste wax. So if you're in a rush and you just want to wax your car quick. I'd use that stuff like say Radiance by Auto Finesse. Ultra Glaze. So basically this is a paint glaze. You can use it all over your car. And what it does is it puts a glaze over your paint so it feels like swirls and scratches to make them not as in your face. So this is good for you know places like door sills and door shuts, all that kind of stuff where you can't really get a militia in to remove kind of like scratches. So that just kind of gives them a little bit of a boost. And then it says for the best results, use like um, a paste wax over the top um, just to seal that in because that does wash off. If you put that on your car and don't put anything over the top of it, it does wash off because I thought, oh yeah, just put loads of this on my car. And then when I come to wash it off, I find that you wash it off, you need to put something over the top to like lock it, lock it in between. And it's that good, I bought two of them. Right, we're on the subject of waxes and all that kind of stuff. Rejuvenate Pre-Wax Cleanser by Auto Finesse. Again, really good. Kind of like... After you, you know, wash your car, give it a quick buffer that, and it kind of prepares the surface of the paint to accept the wax, so the wax is going to last as long as possible, and um, so it actually bonds to the paint. Again, that's another really, really good one. Oh, another one, Speciale Ceramic uh, Detailer by Carbon Collective. I don't think I've used this on the minis. I know when I first got my Golf, I had it ceramic coated. And so I thought well, if I get a ceramic detailer to kind of like keep boosting that ceramic on it. So I tend to just use that on my Golf. Must admit I've not used it for a bit because I get lazy with the Golf and let somebody else do it. Another one from Carbon Collective. Carbon Collective Platinum Glass, this is called. Hang on. Again, this one's brand new. I've got a bottle over there. But I'm not going to get up and start pissing around. Yeah, little bottle like this. Again, I just went mad on a Black Friday last year and just kind of like bought loads of stuff because this, in terms of a glass sealant, there is no better glass sealant on the market. Put it this way, I've had my daily driver, well, I won't say daily driver, sort of weekend car, 18 months now, I put two coats of that on the windscreen and it is just getting to the point now where you think, yeah, I'll just top it up because the water doesn't run off as quick like it still does on the side windows. So again, that's something I can do. And again, I give all my minis a coat of it, even though they don't go out in the rain, but you might as well, aren't you? Uh, in terms of polishes in and polishing and compounds, Meguiar's Ultimate Compound, absolutely mint this stuff. Really, really good. I'll put a little shot in um, of the front of the front of the label of what it, what it does on red paint, um, or any sort of paint in general. 
So again, that's a really good one. That can be done by hand or by machine as well. Another good one. Maguire's Ultimate Polish. If you don't want to go to the level of like compounding your car and then polishing it to really, you know, get rid of all the swirls and scratches, you can just give it a little bit of a polish with that stuff. That tends to, you know, make it nice and shiny, gives you good, good gloss as well. So I'm going to start putting some of these back in there. I've got no room there now. Loads of them. Like, this isn't really car cleaning, but it's kind of like decontamination of your paints. So, like if you've got like overspray and all that kind of stuff, it's clay bar. Again, Maguire's really good stuff and there's loads of videos on youtube of all these different products both on auto finesse's pages and mcguire's pages you can you know look at them and they show you the correct ways how to use them because i'm going to sit here and preach and tell you how to use them because i'm not a detailer i think i missed out um shampoo for when you wash your car auto finesse lava and flavor so, you know, some of these products just smell that good. Um, it's almost tempting to try and eat them. So I've, missed, I've missed some down here. Uh, Finale, quick detailer. Again, good if you... That's kind of good between wash if you don't want to wax your car every time you wash it. Quick spray of that, it just kind of boosts, boosts the protection. And then again, if you want a spray wax, Glisten by Auto Finesse. Um, that's really easy to apply if you've not got time to. You just spray it on, wipe it, and wipe it off again. And it's simple as simple as that interior time again depending on how dirty your car is Meguiar's all-purpose cleaner that's great for carpets vinyl trim seats all that kind of stuff really really good stuff total interior cleaner by auto finesse again that's probably i wouldn't say it's as strong as that but it's still a pretty good cleaner if you've not got a particularly dirty car if you've got one that you can clean every week or so you've got spritz quick detailer auto finesse again if you want to give your plastics a little bit of a bit of a sex up it doesn't leave them like super shiny so when the sun shines on it when you're driving it's like holy shit i can't see anything um it's like a matte matte finish and again the more you put on the more chance you've got of making it nice and glossy so a couple of squirts of that buff it on and you you're good to go then hide leather conditioner again if you've got leather seats in your cars proper good stuff and also before you do that hide you've got a leather leather cleaner which it leaves like a really nice matte finish so if anyone doesn't know shiny leather isn't clean leather um, leather should be like a matte a matte finish so yeah next time you get in your car if it's nice and shiny it's not clean dressel or purpose dressing by auto finesse this can be used mainly on the interior uh, and on the exterior i tend to use it for like stuff like this where it's plastic um, or if you get a little bit on a on a microfiber towel you can go around like all these little rubbers anything sort of rubber or even your reg plate if you want to get that anal you can do um, you have put it on the reg plate in the past so there's that it's actually that good i've got two of them and that ladies and gentlemen is pretty much it i have got other products up there but i'm not going to bore you too much but that's kind of like the main the main sort of stuff that i use right i hope this video is cleared up a lot of controversy about what I use to clean the cars because I do get asked on a regular basis and again like I said the next video will be a p and Minis video and there's going to be new suspension going on this car I'm going to have a new LCB downpipe because I've still got an issue with that and I'm going to have a new temperature sensor put on it as well and I'll probably buy another few shiny bits while I'm there as well and then it is literally a case of making sure these cars are absolutely spotless for IMM and also I'm going to be customising this car um, for the very special visitor that is coming over on the 7th of August. So look out for that one because it's going to be hilarious. And we're also going to fit a 12 volt um, socket to it as well. So you can charge phones and all that kind of stuff for him when he's going down to IMM because I've got 12 volt power in the van. And not only that, it will be useful for me in the, in the future as well. So look out for them ones guys. Right, I've not waffled, I don't know how long I've waffled on for, um, but it's 10 past 4. I'm going to chill out now because it's Saturday. Might edit this video while I'm watching telly. And I shall see you in the next one. Peace.